Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you have stopped by today. Thank you so much. Today we are going to be talking about the things that I would purchase to rebuild my wardrobe. I really like the idea of this video because it helped me to think about, okay, what are the essential things that I would get for myself if I were rebuilding my wardrobe? I've got a budget and I can only afford 10 different things. What are those 10 things that I would get to build up my wardrobe? Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, one thing to note though, is that this list is in no particular order. Everything on this list is of equal priority. Starting out with a beautiful timepiece or a watch. I think that a watch is one of the best ways that you can elevate your wardrobe. You can really make a statement without being very overt about it and a really beautiful watch can transform your style it really really can and i learned this recently when i got a really nice watch from nordgreen which today's video is in partnership with nordgreen they reached out to ask me if i would be interested in another watch and this time as a gifting opportunity for a loved one and i said yeah absolutely because i really really love nordgreen watches style wise they are perfection they are so beautiful they look so good as you can see i'm wearing mine i wear mine every single day now and i look forward to getting dressed so that i can put my watch on because i love it that much as i said they are perfection they look beautiful they are very classic time pieces that will go with many many different outfits they've got a lot of different styles to fit a lot of different personality types they have different face colors metal finishes watch bands Bands. They even now have vegan leather watch bands. They're minimal, but yet they make a huge, huge fashion statement. Another reason that I love Nord Green though, and one that makes me proud to partner with them again, is the fact that Nord Green is very sustainably minded. They are a B Corp. In being a B Corp, what that means essentially is that they have made a commitment to minimize their impact on both the environment and the communities that they work with. And I think that that is very commendable. It is really the central part of their mission. Right now we are in the season of giving and why I feel that Nordgreen watches make a wonderful gift is because they are so classic and timeless. You can pick something for just about every recipient on your Christmas list. They're going to have something for you. As I mentioned, they did gift me a watch. It is this beautiful, beautiful black leather band watch that I will be gifting to someone. That is why you still see the little plastic on the face of the watch and it is still in a its box. I don't want to take it out. I want to be sure that it is in pristine condition when someone unwraps it for Christmas. And I am so happy to gift this watch. And thank you, Nordgreen, for the opportunity for me to share how wonderful Nordgreen watches are with my loved ones. Hello friends, this is Editing Aralia. Just jumping in here to also mention the fact that part of the wonderful thing about Nordgreen is their giving back program. Because this is the holidays, in the honor of giving back, of course your recipient is able to choose which of the organizations to give back to. Nordgreen does this for every single watch that they sell. You have an option for water for good. They provide clean water to families in the Central African Republic. You also have got Cool Earth, which is a rainforest replenishment program. And then you have Pratham UK, which provides education for children in India. So there are a variety of different organizations, which everyone resonates with your recipient. They are able to donate to. I think this is wonderful, especially right now and during the holidays, but I love the fact that Nordgreen does this year round, not just during the holidays. So be sure to let your recipient know that. I just wanted to jump in to remind you of that and uh, let's go ahead and get back to the video. 
This is a beautiful watch. It is very minimal, but yet you see all of the beautiful tick marks. It's in a white face. It's got a beautiful beveled face, and I like that because it gives the watch a little bit of dimension, some visual interest, and of course, with a leather band. I do have a code with them for 15% off, but I will also have that listed in the show more section of the video down at the bottom. With that, you can stack it, and right now, Nord Green will be offering an additional 20% off of their gift sets, which actually increases the versatility of the watch that you're going to be giving or getting if you want it for yourself. It will increase that versatility because the gift sets include watch bands that are interchangeable. The gift sets are max versatility and you will really make your recipient very, very happy, I think. You can stack my 15% off discount on top of that, so that'll give you a whole 35% off. I think that's a great, great deal, especially right now in the holiday season. And also, if you place your order before the 18th of December in order for you to receive your watch before Christmas. So make sure that if you are interested in this for yourself and you want to send a hint along to someone that you love, make sure to share this video or take advantage of the offer that I've got linked in the description bar down below. That way you can be sure that you have this under the tree by the 24th. I truly, truly love representing North green for everything that they stand for and for being a stunningly stunningly beautiful timepiece that I feel has completely transformed my own style and I think that it will do the same for you. Moving on to the second thing that I would get to rebuild my wardrobe would be a wide leg pant in your favorite neutral or a wide leg trouser whichever however you want to refer to it in your favorite neutral. I am the hugest fan of wide leg pants that I know because they are incredibly incredibly flattering. For someone who is a round shape and who is petite, these types of pants really, really help to elongate my leg. And I think that for a lot of different body types, they would serve that purpose. They're very, very flowy. They're very comfortable. They help to balance the body out because you've got a little bit more material down at the bottom. And they are a really great piece to have in your wardrobe for the fact that they are versatile. And by the way, everything that I am talking about in this video, you're going to hear me say again and again, I picked it because of its versatility. Maybe I should just say it now. Everything on this list has been picked for its versatility because when you have got a small amount of clothing, you want to be sure that you're picking things up that can be multitaskers, that have got versatility so you can wear them and use them in many different ways without getting bored, tired, or without lacking a uh, garment that you would need in your wardrobe. So that being said, wide leg pants are incredibly chic. They're very comfortable and they are very, very versatile and classic in style. So if I were rebuilding my wardrobe, I would personally probably settle on black, but any kind of neutral will do whichever one you love and looks best on you. I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Aralia, and the content that I provide here on my channel is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman. I'm coming from the perspective of looking at a wardrobe, both buying affordable pieces as well as some key key luxury and high-end pieces, and then mixing them all together to create really elevated and beautiful looks. I believe that a high-low mix is a great way to achieve this because you don't have to break the bank in order to look amazing. You just have to know where and what to buy and how to mix it all together. If this is your jam, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. Also, follow me on Like to Know It and Instagram. Like to Know It is a shopping app that makes shopping so much easier for you. It is the first place that I post anything new that I have purchased and brought into my wardrobe and like to know it and Instagram are both much more real time than YouTube. So if you want to see what's coming into my closet in real time, as soon as it gets in, then make sure to go and follow me over there. I will have everything linked in the description bar below. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the video. The next thing that I have and on my list is a button down in either white or black. I am calling out a neutral in specific. Just depends on what your personality type is and, and what you gravitate to. Frankly, those two neutrals will be the most versatile in a wardrobe based on the other things that you select in other neutrals. A button down shirt is one that can be dressed down, can be dressed up. And for me, I would give bonus points for a satin 
version. And the reason being is a cotton button down shirt is all good and well and can be dressed up and dressed down in multiple ways. But similarly to that, a satin or a silk version would be one step up, which gives it a different finish. And to me, that extends its versatility. So personally, I would go with a satin, but a cotton or a linen if you're in a warm climate are also good choices. You know that I am a lover of blazers. I think that blazers are one of the most perfect pieces for any wardrobe, regardless of personal style. A blazer in your favorite neutral is going to be really beneficial, I think, in rebuilding your wardrobe because this is something that you can take and wear to things like a job interview, or you can wear it with jeans, t-shirt, and a sneaker, and it's gonna really elevate your look, give you a little bit more classic style. A blazer is the true blue workhorse in your wardrobe because it's going to do a lot for you in a lot of different situations and scenarios. A neutral tone will work a little bit harder for you, I think, in rebuilding your wardrobe. So that is why I specify your favorite neutral. The next piece that I wanted to touch on is a nude shoe. And I left it at shoe. You, it can be either a flat or a heel, whatever works best for you. You. Nude shoes are universally flattering as long as you're picking it up in a nude that fits your skin tone. And thankfully, there are more and more companies out there that are producing nude shoes in multiple tones so that you can find something that will suit your skin tone if you are darker or fairer of skin. The next piece is a skirt in your favorite neutral and also in your favorite silhouette. It used to be back in the day when I first started doing fashion content, I was all of all about like your basic is a pencil skirt it has to be a pencil skirt no it doesn't have to be a pencil skirt whatever silhouette suits your style best because that is the one that you are going to wear more than just if you stuck to a pencil skirt and it doesn't really suit you me personally i would pick out a pleated skirt because i really love pleated skirts for my body type they work best and i think for pretty much any body type a pleated skirt works, but for me personally, that's what I would select. I love the femininity of it, and yet it can be very office appropriate, and it can be very casual, or it can be very dressy, just depending on how you style it. If a pencil skirt suits you though, then by all means, grab yourself a pencil skirt in your favorite neutral. That can work for a lot of different situations as well. You can wear them for you know anything from a job interview on down to just going out and running errands. Another piece that I would recommend would be a white sneaker. And in this case, I would say stick to something in white, or if it has any kind of like a logo or a coloring on it, I would stick with something that is very, very light and versus something that is black or navy or something like that, because you're gonna get the most versatility out of an all white sneaker or a close to all white sneaker. You'll be able to wear it with anything and it's not going to clash or it's not gonna stand out in a way that you don't want it to. And I'm not talking about like athletic shoes. I'm talking about like a sneaker, like a leather or a canvas sneaker. Those work so, so well. You can wear them with a suit. You can wear them with a skirt. You can do all kinds of things with them and they're gonna look really good. They work very, very well in a lot of those different scenarios. I feel that it's one of the most versatile shoes that you can have in your wardrobe and it's gonna be super, super comfortable. Now, price point, I would say whatever suits you. I have a pair of designer sneakers and I have a pair of sneakers from Walmart and nine times out of 10, I go for the sneakers from Walmart because they are a lot more comfortable. So it just depends on what you're looking for, what you want. I will have some of my favorite selections or some of the selections I think that are really good linked in the description bar down below in case you're, you want to shop around for different price points. The next piece that I have is a dress. And you know that I love dresses. Dresses are a one and done piece. They are going to be incredibly versatile in your wardrobe. And I honestly say that in the dress is where you should get your pop of color. Everything that you've gotten to, you know, so far, like your blazer, your shoes, things like that, will all work with a dress in a color. Me personally, I probably would pick this red dress that I'm wearing. This is one that I recently hauled from Walmart. Or a neutral is fine too, if that's more your vibe. You want to get a dress that is versatile. You can dress it up, dress it down, 
pop a blazer on it, wear it on its own, you know, go to work in it, run errands in it, whatever you want to do, it's gonna work for you in all of those different capacities. Of all of the coats that I have, I wear my trench coat. Oh, hi there, hello, my love. I will more often than not choose my trench coat over anything else because the weather here where I live, it gets cold. What I'm more concerned with here where I live is staying dry and a trench coat will help me to stay dry. It's trans seasonal. It's very classic. It goes with pretty much everything that you're going to have in your closet. It's really an incredibly versatile coat. Item number 10 that I would say you would want to have in your uh, wardrobe rebuild is a pair of jeans. Now, I personally don't like wearing jeans. I find them to be incredibly uncomfortable. If you are in the camp of you love wearing jeans and you do find them comfortable, then definitely want to add this to your list. I would suggest going with a dark or a medium wash because those are going to be your most flexible in that they will dress up and dress down equally. A light wash is just a little bit too casual, I feel, for various situations, whether you want to wear them to the office or you want to wear them in a dressier capacity. I would say go as light as a medium wash and that way you'll get the maximum versatility from your jeans. That is everything that I have on my list for rebuilding your wardrobe. I uh, want to say thank you once again to Nordgreen for partnering with me. If you are interested in a Nord green watch don't forget uh, you can get 15% off using my code I will have links and descriptions of the uh, Nord green watches that I currently own make sure to check in the show more or the it, I think they took the show more off and now it just says more dot 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 check there and it will have everything that you need to know about Nord Green watches and everything else that I talked about will be found there as well. If you found this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate a thumbs up that will truly help my channel out. It will help to push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more people can get their eyeballs on what I do here. And if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the content that I have here on my channel. Thank you as always to everyone for watching and spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.